Sanbita Red Lions head coach Boyd Fernandez, like the program he's holding, has had a consistent public image. Aside from being a multi-titled champion, Fernandez is known to be an amiable figure off the court, sharing laughs with reporters in post-game press conferences. This time, however, the 47-year-old Mantor was not in a jolly mood as his defending champion squad won against the Lettron Knights, 74-68, but gave up a 22-point fourth-quarter lead in the process. Spearheaded by the NCAA's new triple-double man Bong Quinto and ever-reliable guard J.P. Calvo, the final four contending Knights charged to a massive 23-2 run in the game's final six minutes. The Red Lions got a lucky break off penalty shots in the waning seconds, however, to barely pull off their 10th win of season 94. For an elite coach like Fernandez, a near collapse of this magnitude was simply unacceptable, and he put his bench players on the hot seat as a result. If we had lost this game, I should probably blame myself for that because I gave everybody a chance to play, he told reporters post game. The other guys who came in simply don't want to really step up their game. They thought that it was already a one game for us. I hope they realize what just happened. The game is not yet over until the final buzzer sounds. Dot attempts wise, the Red Lion bench 3 fourteenths, 21%, outgunned the starters 4 twelfths, 33%, from downtown. Raj Tongko even managed three deep shots with no make in two minutes on the court. That's simply not acceptable. The fact that if you haven't played for the whole three quarters and you're given a chance to play in the fourth quarter, it doesn't mean you just pile on three pointers and not play defense, Fernandez went on. We're not like that team. We're not that team in the fourth quarter. First three quarters, that's Sanbita. Fourth quarter, I really don't know what's that team. I'm sorry, I'm really pissed off about it. Dot heading into their game on Friday against the win-starved contender Perpetual Help Altas, Fernandez is just hoping that this game would serve as a wake-up call. As is the case with top-tier teams, every opponent they face would bring nothing less than their A-game.